Hurricanes love open water. The levees and flood walls that failed during Hurricane Katrina and also Hurricane Rita all had open water in front of them instead of the original marshes and cypress forests that provided the natural protection. Right, here comes 70, 75, let's go fly. Everything you see over here that's open water, that used to be wetlands. Unfortunately, we impounded it, and because of subsidence, it just got worse and worse. So now it's, it's shallow, but it's open water. The entire area to the right in St. Bernard Parish, this is, it's an impounded wetland now, but it used to be cypress. It was logged about 100 years ago. Unfortunately, the cypress never did regenerate and because of saltwater intrusion. Because of the way we changed, we humans changed hydrology, it hasn't had a chance to. So all of this now is very, very vulnerable marsh. You've got to have wetlands. It's, the levees that made it, primarily through the storm, were the ones that had wetlands in front of them. The ones like here, the MRGO, that were exposed to the open waters of the Gulf, they were wiped out. Katrina was not the big one. Katrina was a big one for the Mississippi Gulf Coast. It was not for New Orleans. All of this area was cypress, and 100 years ago it was timbered. And unfortunately, this area has never recovered. And that's why we're so concerned now about cypress timbering. And certainly, you want to timber in areas that are sustainable, but areas down in the coast that have had a lot of hydrologic changes, it'd be, it's ludicrous to cut the trees down here. The most likely outcome is more open water, and the last thing we need in southeast Louisiana right now is more open water. So essentially, what you've showed us is that hurricanes die over land, and this all used to be land. New Orleans, Mike, when I was a kid 50 years ago, used to be an inland city. And unfortunately now, it's weird. we've got the Gulf of Mexico in our backyard, Lake, Lake Bourne right here, the open waters of the Sound are 15 miles from the center of the city. We have truly become a coastal city. We've had natural, natural occurrences like subsidence and erosion, but the main things that have accelerated the loss of the system have been the unintentional human impacts, levying the Mississippi River, constructing levees and impounding wetlands, and Lord knows the changes in the hydrology of the coast, the cutting of all of the navigation canals or exploration canals, that's a big one that many of us believe.